we tried for years to have a kid, um, but we didn't succeed. Uh, at the end, finally, in 2011, on January the 13th, Mario was born. And when he was born, it was the most magic day in our life. Ten days later, we discovered that, that during the, the, the event, he suffered a stroke. It's technically called a perinatal stroke. But the result is that 40% of his brain has gone. When I say has gone, I mean has gone. There is no way to have back every single neuron forever, okay? Uh, and that was a shock, of course. But it was not a shock enough to remove the smile from our life because at the end, he was still alive. And that was the biggest gift in our life. The stroke had three main impacts in our life. The first is that we felt alone. The second is that we had to go for physical and motor skills rehabilitation. And the third, and actually the biggest impact, was that he developed epilepsy. The seizures for us, for our son, usually happens at night. And we ended up not sleeping basically for years because the times that we were not able to catch the seizures, usually we had long run to the hospital directly with the ambulance and staying there for days. And it's even life threatening for many kids. In life, you don't know what is going to happen. And our son is teaching us that the only way to react usually is to fight. And to fight, it means that I didn't care of all the people that were saying, there is nothing that you can do. I don't care. It's our son. And so, uh, after a couple of years, we say, you know what? We want to try. We want to try to move from a no, it's not possible, at least into a maybe, something is possible. And that's where we started the last part of the journey. Uh, one year and a half ago, I said, let's try. Roberto and I, we both advocate for persons with disabilities. We came up with an idea to help and empower parents dealing with epilepsy at home. Our vision is to reduce the amount and severity of seizures in kids with epilepsy. And we are coming together to bring technology to empower families and doctors to identify potential triggers and hopefully with insights and information, figure out a way to reduce the amount and severity of seizures. When you want to try to develop an idea, as really, I believe that the Hackathon in Microsoft is the most amazing opportunity that you can have to bring together the best people that my son deserves. Uh, still, we did something different than usual. Because most of the people believe that the hackathon is physical. We created a team dispersed all across the globe and we never met. I was amazed at how close you could get uh, and how meaningfully you could connect with people just virtually despite never having seen them. So me, Roberto, the entire Hackathon team, we actually did not meet each other in person for all of the four months in which we prepared for the 2019 Hackathon. The first time we met each other was actually after we won the Hackathon in October. We didn't know that we were going to win. The Hackathon was the beginning of the journey. After the hackathon, then I, I believe that the story evolved in a way that uh, brought us together to say, let's make it real. And we were so lucky and privileged to find a space and an opportunity to do this project under the Microsoft Garage Presidents. When we say that something can be done, the first question is, what can be done? And doing the research and speaking with doctors, we believe it is possible to reduce the number and severity of seizures. It's not going to be a miracle. It's going to be a tool to help doctors to be better in helping those families. Roberto lives this problem every single day. And a lot of the people that we get onto our team are people who have very personal connections with this problem. And when you spend the bulk of your time working with 
the users that you're trying to build for. I think it just, it completely changes the way you think and it completely changes the way you problem solve. This project is really something that opened my eyes to that and opened my perspective to that so much. As a technical lead for this project, uh, of course, I'm a super, you know, nerd kind of guy. And uh, it's a very uh, tremendous opportunity because uh, the technology stack for this project is really huge. We are covering technologies like wearable devices, mobile phone, cloud computing, uh, Azure, of course, uh, uh, data, machine learning, on-device machine learning, uh, state-of-the-art uh, network language processing technique. And uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic opportunity to really build an end-to-end -end experience that works, that is solid, that is trusted by the user, and it really made the difference. We want to stretch the technology not on the edge, over the edge. Uh, there is especially one feature, the video diary, that it can be, it can change everything. And of course, it will stretch the, the, the machine learning over the limits. And we don't know if it's going to work. But can you tell me a better opportunity to try to make as many mistakes as we can until we learn? The residence is a six months program. The goal is to create sustainability, both in the technical and the business side, and hand it over to fight the stroke to keep the project going. The best way to help Mario is to help every kid like him. And we are middle of the journey. We already have families that is testing it. And we have doctors that believe in what we are trying to do. It's not a, for a career jump that we are doing this. It's for helping those kids and those families. The probability of success is 0 0.01. But if we succeed, this will have an impact.